Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you my top five basketball shooting drills that you can use either in just a regular practice or in tryouts as well. Now, let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these drills. Each one of these drills will help improve your players but also help you evaluate your players that you might be picking. Let's check these out. So in this first drill, all we're going to do is have the first player in this line, he's going to be passing over to player 5, and then he's going to be setting a screen for player 5. Player 5 is going to use that screen, and now player 2, depending on what you say, as a coach, he can either roll right towards the rim, or he can pop out for a 3-point shot. Player 5 would then use that, and he'd be able to pass that ball to player 2, whether it be for a 3-point shot or for a layup. Now, personally, when we are running this drill, I would have a coach here, and he would be saying to this player what, I, what he would want that player to do. So, for example, when player 2 passes to player 5, player 2 is going to set a screen, and now I want player 5 to go and come off that screen saying roll or pop. Now, obviously in a game, that's not going to happen. You're not going to be telling the player what to do, roll or pop, and that's going to be his decision. However, what we're learning now is to see how the player's communication skills are, this player's listening skills, and also the ability to drive towards the rim for a layup. Can he make layups? Can this player pass for a layup? But also, can he pop and take that shot as well? So we're learning multiple different things here for each of the players that are on the court. Okay, so now this second drill. We're going to have player one. He's going to go past to the coach. He's going to cut down towards that low block, and then he's going to be popping out. Now, what we're seeing here is will he pop to a mid-range or to the three-point line? We want to test both options. So we want then, once he starts popping out, the coach to pass him back the ball, and he's going to take that shot. He's going to be chasing his shot down, getting that rebound, and passing to the next player in line. Now I pass to player 4 there because player 3 should already have a ball ready for the drill. So once that goes through, player 3 is going to pass to the coach, cut down, V cut out, or L cut out, depending on what you want to classify it as. If he cuts to here, it's an L cut. If he cuts up here, it's a V cut. But he's going to take that shot, and then he's going to get his rebound. Quick, simple drill. And then what we can do as well is see, obviously, his ability to take the shot, see if he's going to follow his shot. And now what I want to see as a load on top of this drill is once player three, for example, takes that, takes that shot, can he get his rebound within one bounce so that he can go back up for that layup? Now, then at that point, I would be explaining to my players, now we're going to give you a challenge. Can you make a shot? Now, if you miss a shot, your next challenge is going to be, can you get the rebound before the ball bounces a second time in the on the court so that you can get that layup after all? Okay, so now in this third drill, we're going to have three lines, and what we are doing here is player five, he is going to be passing the ball over to player four. He's going to then cut towards the, across the, the key, and now player four is going to be passing over to player two. Player four is going to be following his pass, so he's going to be going in the back of that line. Player five, he's following across the key, and now player five is going to be contesting player two's shot. Now, we want player 5 to be contesting with stutter steps coming out towards player 2 with his hand up, and we want player 2 to be able to get that shot off before player 5 blocks his shot. Now, once he shoots that ball, player 2 is going to get that rebound, and player 5, he is going to go in the back of this line, player 2 is going to be going in the back of this line, and then now we're going to be starting it all over again. Now this fourth drill is called closeout passing with a shot. So player two is going to start with the ball. Now we're only going to be having, as you can see here, six players in this drill. So we can split up the team or if we have other basketball nets along the side, split up the players along there. Now, basically player two, he's going to start with the ball passing out to player three. He's going to be closing out stutter stepping on the way out and player three is going to take that shot. He's going to rebound the ball, pass to the next player in line. 
they're going to switch lines and now we're going to be running through this drill one more time it's a fantastic drill to do especially if you want to get a lot of shots up in a short amount of time this way you can see who really is the better shooter and the faster shooter okay so this and final drill that I'm going to show you is called full court three man weave to half and then he, they're going to shoot threes so we're going to have player five passing the player three he's going to follow his pass player three is then going to pass the player four and usually if it's an older team they can get one to, or two to three passes in now player four they've all gotten to half court player four has the ball which he should he's in the middle of the court he's going to come down and jack a three point shot next Player three and five are going to come down towards the free throw line extended along the three point lines. And they're going to be receiving the balls from five and four, and they're all going to be shooting at the same time. Now, player one has that ball now, and what's going to happen is now these three players are coming down three man weave once again, and now coming down from the three man weave, player five has that ball. And now he's going to take that shot. Players one and three are going to take those shots as well. As you can see, we don't have enough players here to be able to fill a third spot. So this middle player or the first player to hit a three will then get that rebound. And now those three players are going to be coming down three on uh, or coming down three man weave for their three shots. Now I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.